Today we're talking all about press accords. Some of the press accords that I've used, I'm gonna break them down, tell you a little bit about them and some of the strengths and weaknesses of them. And that way maybe you guys can make a good decision on the chords that you feel like you're gonna use. All right, let's get to it. So I have six different press accords that we're gonna to use today and talk about. So the other day I went into the tree and just so I could refresh my memory on them, I compared them against each other so I can give you a better explanation of each individual press accord. The first one I'll talk about is a B line. This one's an eight millimeter and 24 inch cord and it's a splice die. It's made out of Technora and Poly. It's really heat resistant. And I, I f it's, it's great because it's uh, pretty durable and lasts a long time. Now for me though, when I'm using this one, I, I like it a lot, but it is kind of sticky. And what I mean by sticky is when I'm gonna do an ascent, you know, I'll tie my regular hitch that I'm gonna use, and as I'm doing my ascent, it, it kind of grips pretty um, tight. It's not really free flowing on me, but I don't mind that so much, it's, it's pretty nice. And then as I'm ascending up, and when I sit back, it really grips well. So it's, for me, grippy on both, grippy on the ascent and in the descent. Um, but it, like I said, it lasts a real long time. Um, the only thing that it was a downside for me was this, the grippiness on the ascent, but it's one that I really use and I continue to use. I like them more for my, my lanyard setup than I do for my actual climb, but it's not a bad one to use for your climb. Anyhow, that's, that's what I was thinking about this beeline. The next cord I have is a Sterling Rit. It's Grizzly Splice and it's about a 30 inch cord. <clears throat> I believe it's eight millimeter. It's made with Aramid and a polyester core. This one really stays round. Um, and it's been kind of a tough one for me. I really like it. You know, it lasts a long time, <clears throat> but even though I tie the hitch right, what happens on this cord is I'll, I'll tie my hitch and, and usually I'll use a five wrap because it's a 30 cord, but as I'm ascending, it, it's great. So I ascend and it's really easy. It opens up great and I sit back and it, it grips. <clears throat> but if I do a few hand over hands when I'm ascending with it, this one would tend to not, when I sit back, it could do a little bit of slide on me. Um, even if I'm tying my hitch proper, um, whatever hitch, I've done a few different hitch, like a Canute, I've used a Mitchell Kahn, Distal, <clears throat> and even though I'm, it's, a, it's a 30 cord and I use five wraps, it will still do that, like give me that little slide, and then I have to grab the hitch. So it's, it's, a, it's a good one for like the short, and then I sit back, it always grips. But if I do a couple hand over hands, then it'll have to be um, manipulated with my hand to grip it back. So anyhow, that's the uh, Sterling Rit for me. The next cord I have in it is an HRC cord. <clears throat> it's a 24 inch, eight millimeter cord. It has Grizzly Splice eyes. It's made out of a, a Technora Spun Nomex. Its cover is that, and it's really heat and abrasion resistant. It doesn't have a lot of uh, stretch to it. What I really like about this one is that it it flattens a little bit, but not too much. It kind of stays round, but it does flatten a little. And while I use it, it's really good because it, when I, when I ascend with it, it opens up and it's really free moving. And then I, when I rest back down and I sit, it grips really well. It's pretty tight on the grip when I'm coming down. It doesn't open up really fast. And I don't mind that because I'm more of a slower person when I, when I descend. I don't want to be going fast but it's been really durable and good for me throughout the years. And I've never found anything um, that scared me about this one. So this is a, the HRC cord. It's also rated about uh, 5,000 plus pounds. Um, it's a real nice cord to use. The next cord I have is an ocean cord. It's made out of aramid and polyester. This one also has a grizzly spice eye to eye. It's 24 inch, it's 10 millimeter line, and I believe it's uh, rated, uh, you know, 5,000 plus pounds. Now this one is one that I usually use for my lanyard and it works great for that. Um, when I use it for my climbing line, it tends to creep on me. And it, you know, whatever knot that I'm using, it would still creep on me. But I think in, in a lanyard sense, it would never do that. Um, it could be because it's a, a 10 millimeter cord 
and if I'm using a, a smaller diameter climbing line, maybe that's it. <clears throat> maybe if I'm using it with half inch, it would do better. But for me, it, you know, it's been a fair, fairly reliable cord. Um, but on my end, I, I more like it for the lanyards than I do for my climbing system. And more because in my climbing system, it's done some creeping on me. It hasn't been like, it's not like a fast creep, but it's a slow creep. Um, and, and pretty much any time I use it for my climbing system. So yeah, this one I like better for a lanyard. The next cord I have is a uh, Samson bailout. Now this one's made out of Technora fiber. And I believe it's like a 28 inch and it's been spliced. Um, this one is, stays really, really round. And I don't believe there's much stretch to it. Uh, even while I use it, it doesn't really flatten out. It, it's actually pretty good. It's heat resistant and I believe abrasion resistant. It's really strong. Uh, I believe this one's also rated at, at 5,000 plus pounds. Um, but as when I'm using this one, it works really well. It's, it's, um, so as I am ascending, it opens up really nice. And when I sit back, it, it grips well. It doesn't slide or run on me. Um, this one, I haven't had a whole lot of, maybe just like a year's worth of experience with this one. But so far, I'm really liking it for my climbing system. <clears throat> it's a real good, um, dependable cord. This is the Samson bailout. The next cord I have is a Samson ice. This one's made out of aramid fiber, and it's a real heat and abrasion resistant. It even has a high charring point. It's a, a lot different than any of the other cords that I've been using. This one's really like soft. And the way, and, and when you tie your hitch, it's really easy to tie the hitch. And what I found with this cord is that, you know, it's a 30 cord, it's a 30 cord and, and splice die. But what I found with this cord is whatever hitch that I'm using, it really opens up on your ascent. Like it feels like you got nothing on. So I've been using my Michokan. So I go on there and I start to tend up. It opens up really easy. It feels like you got nothing on it. And then when I rest, it grips really well. It doesn't slide or, or it doesn't, when you sit back, it doesn't have any like creep to it at all. Um, it's, this one's a bit exciting for me and I, I think I'm going to explore it a little bit more. But uh, yeah, actually this is a pretty nice cord to have on your climbing system. Now this is a Samson Ice. Well, there you have it. My thoughts on some of the press cords that I've been using. Honestly, if you're new in the trade and you're getting into the press accord systems, you, you do want to give yourself a, a few different options and start using them. You know, some cords, it's, it's funny because some of the time, sometimes some of the cords that I, I use, they work great for me and then maybe for some other people, they may not work so well. But if you if I try a few different ones, you're definitely going to find the one you like. And if you buy them at, you will definitely want to buy them at an Arbor Supply Company where they're going to be rated cords meant for tree care. You don't want to go and buy it from somewhere where it's not um, safety rated. Um, honestly, if you get cords and they're not meant for tree climbing, you can use a cord. And if you decide to send, descend and you're going pretty quick, some of those can melt. And if they melt, they could snap. <clears throat> and that's your, your life. You definitely want to get a cord that's rated in an, in an arbor supply company and give yourself some time to use it. Find the wraps that you like. Um, some people like short cords, some people like long. It's a good idea to get used to the ones you want. We do have a video on press cords. You might want to have a look at it. Anyhow, that's my thought on the cords that I've been using. I hope this was helpful. Um, take care, have a good day, comment, like, and subscribe. And by all means, share our videos. We'll see you next time.